Hi, my name is Ron Hunter, and I'm an applications engineer with CML Microcircuits. In today's video, we will demonstrate the operation of the CMX994 Direct Conversion Receiver. As you know, the CMX994 offers many compelling advantages. Previous direct conversion receivers suffered from significant DC offset problems. The outstanding second order intercept of the CMX994 helps make that problem a thing of the past. Its direct conversion architecture eliminates image responses and maximizes integration. Its wide frequency range supports sub 1 GHz applications. Both linear and constant envelope modulations are supported by the CMX994. The integrated LO synthesizer and LNA with gain control minimizes external parts count. Software adjustable DC offsets allow for optimal performance. Configurable bandwidth IF filters support multiple channel bandwidths. And the CMX994 also offers low power operation and a small package size. The EV9942 is the evaluation board for the CMX994. In today's video, we will use the EV9942 and other CML evaluation boards to demonstrate a complete QAM data link. Our data link will consist of a transmit section and a receive section. Both transmit and receive sections consist of baseband, RF, and host controller. For transmit baseband, the CMX7163 QAM modem will generate a 96 kilobit per second signal using 64 QAM. For transmit RF, the CMX998 Cartesian feedback device will linearize an RF power amplifier and transmit the 64 QAM signal. The RF carrier frequency is 450 MHz. Receive RF will use the CMX994 direct conversion receiver. This highly integrated device performs antenna to zero IF baseband conversion. The CMX7163 QAM modem will act as the receive baseband and recover the original data and the PE0002 PC interface card will serve as the host controller for transmit and receive. Let's review the evaluation boards we will use in today's video. The PE0002 is a USB connected PC interface card that acts as the host controller for the application. For the baseband, we will use the CMX7163 QAM modem and its evaluation board the PE0601-7163. For RF transmit, we will use the CMX998 Cartesian Feedback Loop IC and its evaluation board, the EV9980. Since QAM is a linear modulation scheme, the ability of the CMX998 to linearize an RFPA makes it a great choice for this test. And for RF receive, we will use the CMX994 direct down conversion receiver and its evaluation board, the EV9942. In today's video, we will pass formatted data using 64 QAM and 16 KBOD, and this provides a 96 kilobit per second over the air data rate. We will also use a 25 kilohertz RF channel centered at 450 megahertz. The first step is to assemble the evaluation boards. So let's do that now. For the transmit side, connect the PE0002 to the PE0601-7163. Use the CBUS 1 port of the PE0002 for the connection. To complete the transmit side, connect the EV9980 to the PE0601. Now to the receive side. Connect the second PE0002 to the second PE0601 board. Use the CBUS 1 port of the PE0002 for the connection. To finish the receive side, connect the EV9942 to the PE0601 
using the J14 RF connector. Now that the boards are connected, it's time to wire them up. Let's review the baseband, RF, and power connections we will use for these boards. For the transmit baseband, we'll use coaxial cables to connect the SMA connectors on the PE0601 and EV9980. Connect a jumper between transmit PE0601, J13, pin 5, and EV9980, TL14. This connection will allow the CMX7163 to automatically calibrate the CMX998 IQ DC offsets. The received baseband signals are sent from the CMX994 to the CMX7163 over the RF connector, so no cable is required. It can be helpful to view a constellation diagram, and the CMX7163 provides that capability. The received constellation diagram can be viewed on the transmit output pins of the receiving CMX7163. Placing a 1.5 volt battery between each oscilloscope probe and the evaluation board can help with centering the oscilloscope display. Be sure to install jumpers on EV9942, JP5, JP6, JP7, and JP8 to enable the EV9942 CBUS interface. Now we can move to the RF connections. For the transmit RF LO, connect an RF signal generator to the EV9980 LO N SMA connector. Connect a 50 ohm load to the TX out 400 megahertz SMA connector on the EV9980. We will use 86 dB of external RF attenuation in this test. Connect the other end of the load to EV9942 LNA N SMA connector. The LO source for the receive EV9942 is provided by its onboard VCO. This signal can be monitored on EV9942 TX LO out SMA connector if desired. The baseband and RF connections are done, so now we can move to the power connections. Both PE002s require a positive 5 volt connection, and this 5 volts is also supplied to the PE0601 boards. A negative 5 volt supply is needed for the transmit PE0601's SMA interface. Connect a jumper between transmit PE0601 J13 pin 2 and EV9980 J12 pin 15. This is the enable signal for the RF power amplifier. Connect a 7.2 volt supply rated for 1 amp to the EV9980 plus V supply. The EV9980 RF power amplifier requires a 3.6 volt supply rated for 2 amps. Connect a 7.2 volt supply rated for 1 amp to the receiving EV9942. The boards are connected and wired up. Now let's install the PE0002 on your computer so we can run a script. Visit the CML website and do a search for the PE0002. Download the PE0002 support package and extract the files onto your desktop. Connect the receive PE0002 to your computer with a USB cable and turn on the 5 volt supply for the PE0002. Install the USB driver when requested. The USB driver can be found in the unzipped PE0002 support package. After the USB driver has been installed, Launch the PE0002 executable file for the receive board. Select the function image load tab in the GUI. Locate the latest CMX7163 function image file on your computer using the browse button. If you don't already have this file, 
you will need to download it from the CML Technical Portal. Click Load to download the function image into the Receive PE0601. You will see a message on the screen indicating a successful download. Now to the transmit side. Connect the Transmit PE0002 to your computer with a USB cable. Launch a GUI for the Transmit PE0002 and load the function image into the Transmit PE0601. We are almost ready to run a script, so turn on the minus 5 volts for the Transmit Baseband SMA interface. Let's talk about script files for a minute. The PE0002 can use script files to automate evaluation board configuration. You can open and edit these script files in any text editor. These scripts illustrate how to configure the CML devices and can be a great starting point for your own software development. This first script allows adjustment of the frequency offset between transmitter and receiver. This script also performs calibration of the DC offsets of the CMX994 IQ outputs. In the Receive GUI, select the Script Handler tab and then click Select Script. Find the LO Trimming RX script and click the Run Script button. Follow the on-screen instructions. As you can see from the GUI, the CMX994 and CMX7163 work together to perform DC offset calibration of the CMX994 IQ outputs. When prompted, use the Transmit GUI to launch the LO Trimming TX script and follow the on-screen instructions. Connect an oscilloscope probe to the receiving PE0601J24 pin 2 to view the input signal. Adjust the transmit LO signal generator until the frequency on the oscilloscope is at the desired frequency offset. The offset in this video will be less than 100 Hz. Once the frequency offset is at the desired value, Click OK in both GUIs to complete the script. Distortion in the received signal can foul the demodulation process. The CMX7163 includes a filter equalization function to help compensate for the distortion. This next script enables the CMX7163 filter equalization function. In the received GUI, Find and run the Equalizer RX script. When prompted, go to the Transmit GUI and launch the Equalizer TX script. The Transmit CMX7163 sends a training pattern to the receiving CMX7163. The receiving device analyzes the training pattern and adjusts its filtering to compensate for distortion. The before and after CMX7163 filter values are written to text files stored in the same directory as the script. The final script will pass formatted data from the transmit boards to the receive boards. In addition to creating a formatted data frame, the transmit script also configures the CMX7163 to perform DC calibration of the CMX998 IQ inputs. In the received GUI, find and run the Data RX script.
When prompted, go to the Transmit GUI and launch the Data TX script. The transmitted and received data are written to text files located in the same directory as the scripts. This allows you to compare what was transmitted to what was received. So, in a very short time, we have demonstrated how the CMX994 can be used in a QAM data link. This concludes our video. Please contact CML Microcircuits if you have any questions or if you would like more information on the products that you have watched today.